please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Version control is a crucial aspect of managing database development and maintenance. It helps track changes made to your database schema and allows for collaboration among team members. In this tutorial, we will explore how to implement version control for a SQL Server database using popular version control systems such as Git, along with code examples and best practices. Before getting started, ensure you have the following prerequisites. SQL Server, you need access to a SQL Server instance. This tutorial assumes you have SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS, installed. Git, you should have Git installed on your system. You can download it from Git's official website. Git repository, create a Git repository to store your database schema changes. Services like GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket can host your repository. If you don't have an existing database, create one using SQL Server Management Studio or a similar tool. Open a command prompt or terminal and navigate to your project directory. Initialize a new Git repository. Create a .gitinary file in your project directory to specify files and folders that should not be tracked by Git. In the context of SQL Server, you might want to ignore backup files, logs, and temporary files. Here's an example .gitinary file. In SSMS, you can create a database project to manage your database schema. Go to File New Project. Select Database under Templates and follow the wizard to create a new project. Import your existing database schema into the project. Make changes to your database schema by adding or modifying tables, views, stored procedures, etc., within the database project. Once you've made your changes, build the project to generate a SQL script that represents the schema. Right-click your project in SSMS and select Build. Navigate to the Output folder, usually bin backslash debug or bin backslash release within your project directory, to find the generated SQL script. Add the generated SQL script and any other necessary files to your Git repository. If you're using a remote Git repository like GitHub, push your changes to the remote repository. Now that your database schema is under version control, you can collaborate with team members. Everyone can clone the repository, make changes, and contribute by following the same workflow. To track changes, create meaningful commit messages and regularly pull changes from the remote repository. Commit messages, Use descriptive commit messages to explain the purpose of each change. Branching, consider creating feature branches for specific tasks or changes, especially in larger projects. Database backups, regularly backup your database to ensure you can recover data if needed. Continuous integration, consider using CI slash CD pipelines to automate database deployment and testing. Code reviews, encourage code reviews to maintain code quality and consistency. Documentation, keep documentation up to date, including schema diagrams and change logs. Implementing version control for your SQL Server database can greatly improve collaboration, traceability, and the overall development process. By following this tutorial and best practices, you'll be on your way to effectively managing your database schema changes. Chat GPT